go. This is Dan Dewing's project, The Crossing by Gary Paulson. This is Manny Bustos. He's a 14-year-old homeless boy, only living in a cardboard box. Manny's mother left him at a church when he was very little, and now he's always hungry. Moving around, not having a destination, except for the crossing, meaning he wants to cross the Rio Grande River, separating him from a new life. He lives on the streets, moving, always moving, because he was, because he was 14 and had red hair and large brown eyes with long lashes. Manny survives on the streets of Juarez, Mexico, a very loud and busy town on the border of Mexico and Texas. Manny being homeless is always scrapping for food, wherever he can get it. Sometimes he goes to different places and just waits, staring at the staff till they give up and feed him a little. This doesn't help much because he is always hungry. Manny competes with fellow starving boys for cash so they can get food. When he gets some, he usually gets it taken away from someone bigger than him. Manny has red hair, so he has to always be moving so he doesn't get taken and become a slave. Manny faces a lot of dangers all the time. There's the danger of starvation that he faces all the time. The danger of getting taken and becoming a slave is also very dangerous. But what Manny is about to do is even more dangerous. Manny realizes that that day is the day he crosses the river. This is most dangerous of all. As you may know, that crossing the border is a very hard thing to do. It is heavily guarded and not many people can pass. Teenagers always think they can do anything they want, that they can't get hurt. So Manny, being a teenager, thinks he can easily do it. But there is a problem. Manny is going to run into the guard and sergeant, Robert S. Locke, a veteran from Vietnam who was not a guy you'd want to mess with. Quote, The man in the mirror was Ramon, straight with graying short, tight hair and a straight mouth. The man in the mirror had an inline nose, even steel blue eyes, just a faint shade of red and white snap. The shade was so close, the skin looked raw. Flat ears and a uniform so incredibly neat and sharp that the true cloth looked like it was carved in stone. A granny uniform. Even the rose of decoration seemed to be carved into his barrel chest. This quote describes a character, but also a conflict. This man is a big conflict to Manny and his plan to cross the border. It is hard to cross the border, but anyway, with this guy, it seems a lot harder than it normally would be. I'm not going to give you the ending. So, in order to see if Manny makes it to the United States, or will he be stopped by Sergeant, read the book The Crossing by Gary Paulson. I give it two thumbs up.